Here we've got a new Bronco that we're going to be installing the Morimoto LED headlight assemblies on. The ones that are color changing. We'll go over everything in a little bit. But these are the factory LED assemblies. They look really pretty good. But there's always improvements to be had with aftermarket products. And we'll show you how everything comes together in just a moment. We'll go over the stock functions and even do a quick before and after Lux reading so you can see how the new assemblies stack up against the originals. So this is with the factory parking lights activated. It's just a running light. When the turn signal is activated, that inner bar turns on, goes to amber from white, and it'll revert back to white once the turn signal is off. And now we've got the low beams turned on. You can see just the upper reflector turns on there. So these are reflector LED headlight, low and high beam. And we'll show you the output in just a moment with those shop lights off. All right, so very typical for, for reflector headlights. They do have a fairly defined cutoff, but you can see it's a little spotty. And above the cutoff, we have some areas of some stray light. Not going to cause any disturbance for oncoming traffic, but it is a little bit of a distraction. But clearly, it's all good. And we'll show how the performance is in just a moment, doing a quick Lux reading. All right, so we've got the driver's side. Cutoff is uh, up here, but it looks like majority of the hotspot is a little bit lower than we typically see, but that's probably because it's a reflector and they don't want too much stray light coming down on oncoming traffic and being too bright. So it is interesting how it is set up. With a projector, we like to see the hotspot being the most intense area right under the cutoff. So maximum lux we're seeing at about 25 feet is 435. All right, so you remove the grill, the top shroud cover, we pop the fender, and then the lower uh, painted under the grill, the area under the grill. And the headlight comes out pretty straightforward. This is the new Morimoto assembly on the driver's side, factory one on the passenger side. And you can see what the difference the projector makes just from looking at it visually. It looks much more defined and more focused and the light is a little crisper because it's going through the projector lens versus that reflector setup. But right off the bat, you can tell the color is a little bit different. I think Morimoto is using the mixed white for the white, which means it combines the red, blue, and the green. So it's a little bit of a cooler white. Some may or may not like that, but it does look pretty good in person. And these do have the color changing ability. So we'll go over that in just a moment. All right, so we've got the factory passenger headlight in. And I'll show you what the Morimoto one looks like now. So you can see right off the bat, right when they're both on, you can see how much brighter the Morimoto is on the driver's side, how much more defined. We'll fine tune the alignment in just a moment. But you can see it's got a very defined hotspot. And once both lamps are installed, it'll be very uniform and precise compared to the kind of blotchy factory LED reflector setup. All right, so we've got the assemblies installed. Car is locked right now. I'm going to unlock it and just show you what happens. So you got the sequential style turn signals, and then in a moment, the lights will start up their startup sequence, and it will revert back to the same color that we had it set on. So we're going through all the colors and the options and showing the customer left it on red right now just to show it off. But if you have it on the white or orange, green, whatever you want to do, it will revert back to that same setting. All right, we'll show you the startup sequence. Anytime that the low beams are on, it will start up the sequence for the LEDs. It's a really cool feature. And that's what it looks like when they're fully on. All right, we're gonna show off the output in just a moment. You saw the comparison from side to side. These are the low beams. And we'll do that Lux comparison and show you how much uh, performance you gain. All right, so here is the output with both lights and you can see the beam really comes together now that both assemblies are on. Looks super uniform, 
you got that nice center intensity zone with the dual hot spots. Cutoff line is ultra crisp and nice. Light starts off at a good place. And we'll do that Lux comparison right now. As you saw earlier in the video, it was about 430 Lux. And that was a lot lower than the ideal positioning. So if we go right next to the cutoff line, you're seeing about 849 Lux. You go a little bit down, we're over 900. So, you know, these lights are twice as bright as the factory LED lights and they have a very good gradual drop off. You can see it still holds strong, even down much lower. And the only thing to really get used to is the fact that there's no light above the cutoff. Like on the LED headlights, it was a little bit scattered and there was a little bit of light bleed, but essentially this is a much better setup for the Bronco. So if you have any questions, email us. It's info at lightworks.net. Check out the website. You can find these assemblies along with a lot of other products for your Bronco on the website. And if you need help, you can always call as well. So please subscribe to the channel if you get a chance and uh, we'd love to hear your feedback.